Hey everyone, so I have the official version of Android and on my Nexus 5X as part of the beta program and I just want to go over some of the features that Android NS offer for those of you who aren't familiar with it. In my opinion, this is a much bigger upgrade than Marshmallow. So I'll start off by looking at the apps that are running right now and you'll notice that there's now this clear all button in the top right. Did not have that before. Now a big new feature of Android N is multitasking so I'll give you guys a quick look at that. So I'm just going to hold down on Chrome and then you see the note at the top drag here. So I'm going to drag up the top of the screen. Now I can pick another app for the bottom half of the screen. So I'll see YouTube. So now you notice that I have both apps up. I can access both of them at the same time. I can also adjust the size of them. Now if I want to switch the bottom app I can press this button again. And let's say I go into settings. So now if I double tap right here, it's going to switch back to YouTube. Double tap again to go back into settings. So I'm just going to swipe down, go back into full screen mode. Android has also been overhauled in the notification area. So uh, an example of this is bundled notifications. So let's say if you get a bunch of uh, Gmail messages at the same time, you'll see all the subject lines in the same area. Also, you can hold down on notifications like this. And then you have some options depending on the app for how you want to see those notifications. Now if we just drag down once from the top, you'll notice that we have a lot of these quick settings here in this first row. So you don't have to uh, drag down twice anymore to access some of the features like the flash rate right here. But if we do drag down the second time, you notice that this is a little different with the quick settings. So now you can swipe to the right. The settings have been overhauled as well. So now you'll notice that you have a lot more information. Uh, you have these suggestions at the top and you don't have to have these, but they could be useful. For example, I still need to uh, set up my fingerprint. You notice that you have a lot of information here that you didn't have previously. So just for example, sound is at 14%, 47 apps installed, batteries at 95%, how much time is left, how much memory is left. Uh, so you're really getting a lot more on this that you didn't have previously. You don't have to go and click on everything to get some of the information. My favorite new feature on this is direct reply notifications. So I'll just show you guys a quick example of that. Now you see I just got a message and I have the option up here to reply just by pressing here. Then I can send whatever I want. And then let's say if I get a notification but I don't want to reply to it immediately, I can just swipe away like that. Or if I want, I can just press here and then I can reply that way. So for those of you who use the default Google Keyboard, there's now a lot of themes that you can apply. So you can change the color, uh, you can put your own image in there if you want. So I'll change it to red for now. Here's a look at that red keyboard I just applied. And for those of you who are into emojis, there's a lot of new emojis on here. Uh, so I won't go through all of them, but they've redesigned some and also added a lot of new ones in. Aside from what I've shown you in this video, there's also some smaller features that have been added. Uh, things that I can't really show you as easily, but I will go more in depth on them once we have the official final version of N-Out. Uh, so that includes things like improvements to Do's battery life. Still want to test that out, see how the battery life on this holds up. Accessibility mode, there's a lot of new features with that. Android for work enhancements. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff that may be planned in future versions of N. So as I said at the beginning of this video, I personally think this is a bigger upgrade than Marshmallow. Uh, the direct reply notifications and the split screen multitasking are two huge new features on here. And this is a side note, I know some of these features have already been implemented in some of the custom UIs such as TouchWiz. Uh, but it's still good that we're getting these in the stock version of Android. So yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully it was helpful for you. On this channel I buy all major smartphones today if they're released. That includes Apple, Samsung, LG, HEC and more. Uh, and of course, I also buy Xperia phones, and that includes all Xperia phones, not just the big ones, not just the flagship devices. Uh, so yeah, guys, thanks again for watching, and please know in the comment section if you have any questions or comments.